We here in central and northern Wisconsin are filled with many different looking places that we call home. Mm -hmm. While they all are having something special to make them appealing, how do we tell them apart exactly? Well, in today's On Our Mind, the question is, when does the small town become a big town or a city or a suburb? Oh boy. <laughs> well, we do know we have metropolitan cities like mm -hmm. Chicago or right. Green Bay or, or Milwaukee, or Milwaukee, Madison. Those, those I would definitely consider big cities. And then you exactly. have, then you have a pretty much what is it towns? In other words, so I would consider places like Rhinelander, yeah. maybe Wausau. Oh. So, oh, so you'd call Wausau a town? I don't know. Wausau is the biggest city in the, or biggest town city. I think they're on the <laughs> they're on the they're on the line though. I, I'm not aware. I'm not freshened up on their population count, but they're one of the bigger areas in, in our viewing areas. So. Mm -hmm. That one you could go either or on because mm -hmm. they are one of the bigger spots in our viewing area. You could probably call them one of the cities. You know what? I'm calling them a city. Oh, boy. Devin, Devin's upgrading Devin, like, them. Devin, like, flipped his own mind. It had, like, yeah. there was own discussion. Yeah. yeah. Well, Wausau, I would definitely call a city for sure. Mm -hmm. Rhinelander, definitely a town because it's oh, smaller. Oh. Um, I mean, what, 8,000 or whatever it is, and then it gets bigger during the uh, tourist season. Right. And, you know, you have villages and stuff as well. Villages oh, and, true, and true. then unincorporated areas as well. Yeah, see, you know, there's always like the technical terms of like townships and villages and then cities or anything that's incorporated. But that's, you know, no fun to go off of those definitions. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, where does small town fit in then? You know, I think definitely the small town, you know, sort of, it, it gives you a feeling as well. Yeah. And, you know, Wassa has parts of it that feel like a small town. But definitely, it's just, it's got the sprawl to yeah, it. It's an overarching. It's yeah. a good mix. It's a, definitely a very good mix mm -hmm. of uh, some small town feelings, some bigger town feelings. And mm -hmm. then you got, have a lot of trees around Wausau, too. So some people say it kind of gives you a little bit of a feeling of being in the woods, too, mm -hmm. as well as giving that urban feel at times. Yeah, it definitely feels different. You know, uh, the Merrill is certainly an interesting one. Is it a small town? Is it a suburb of Wausau? Or is it, you know, a city in and of itself? It's, you know, it's certainly, I've heard, I've heard the arguments for all three. I've never heard it being considered a suburb. No, I oh. would, I would not either, honestly. Maybe that's just me growing up in Tomahawk. We always, because we always drive down to Wausau for everything. And we're like, oh, and then there's Merrill there as well. So we'd pop in there. But, uh, you know, because a lot of people commute back and forth. Well, Merrill's in Lincoln County, too. And then you got mm -hmm. Wausau and Marathon County. So, I mean, to me, I would, I would definitely pick, think Merrill's its own thing. Definitely, definitely its own thing. I mean, you know, it's, each one has its own sort of, you know, special features. Absolutely. So, I mean, I feel Do like we, we haven't really come, yeah, I don't think it really comes with <coughs> agreement here. It's very, very tricky subject. Yeah, today. everyone has their own definition, really. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean I'd mean, i say the more people you have, bigger the area is. Yeah. I'd say that counts as a city. And then as you reach down to places like Rhinelander, for example, even my hometown of like 13,000, I'd say that's mm -hmm. definitely a town or a smaller town. And then obviously then those definitions become a little exactly. bit more so somewhere, nitty gritty. So somewhere in between Rhinelander and Wausau is where it goes from a small town to a city. Yeah. Yeah, and then you have ridiculous <laughs> metropolitan areas like Chicago. Oh, yeah, that's just, that's just a massive. Yes, yeah. but... For now, coming up, see where you can celebrate Plover's heritage this weekend. But first, Howard is in the Mr. Rutes kitchen with a recipe for icebox salad.